Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia C21 Plus and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this device. So to get started, let's select our language. Whoops, not what I wanted to select. So I'm going to choose English, region, and then we can select let's go. Here you can insert your SIM card if that is something that you wanted to do. It's a phone, so you probably might want to. Uh, but the reason it shows up here in general, because when you insert a SIM card, it should start working right away without any additional steps. Uh, the reason it shows up here is, I would assume probably because uh, SIM card is one of the ways you can get a network on this phone. Other one would be through Wi-Fi. If you choose to skip both of them, then the device will not uh, set the date and time automatically. And additionally, you won't have the Google login page uh, visible. So anyway, I'm going to be skipping both of them. So there we go. There's the Wi-Fi connection, which I'm going to be skipping as well. And Nokia is actually nice about it and lets you know that if you set it up offline, uh, you won't be able to sign into your Google account, restore apps and data, uh, get software updates and automatically set up date and time. Uh, now, that being said, you can change the settings later on, re-log into Google if you want to, or just a general login, uh, sign into your Wi-Fi if you want to, and obviously pop in a SIM card. Uh, it can all be done later on. It just won't be neatly provided uh, in a sequence like it is throughout the setup. Here we have some Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. You can tap on the drop down menu for each one of them to read exactly what these do, and if you don't like them, just toggle them off. From there, scroll down, select Accept, and this will take you to protection of your device. So here you can set up a fingerprint, at least that's what it opts into straight away. If you select Skip, it will then prompt you to set up a face unlock. Uh, if you select Skip again, it will then just tell you to put in a pin. You can skip it as well, or you can set it up now. Under the screen like options, you also have a pattern and password as a option of unlocking your device. I'll be skipping this anyway. Here we have some stay up to date. So if you want, you can provide Nokia with your email address and they might be probably sending you spam. Uh, I personally wouldn't be putting anything in here. Just selecting no thanks, but to each their own. Um, you are nearly ready to go, so uh, by tapping let's go, uh, you agree to join the user experience programs. Completely up to you if you want to or not. I'm going to select not now. And this finishes up the setup, so there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.